Hello everybody, welcome to part 10 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are rank 3 in the Pokedex now. And more importantly than that, we need to go talk to the commander about quelling Lilligant. Because I'm sure there's not three more of these that I need to do. Oh wait, there are. Uh, before we do that though, we're going to talk to this guy here. Um... We're going to add a few more spots in our inventory because we actually got to the point where we needed to do that. Uh, we'll do one more for now. This shit gets expensive after a while. Like, we're talking a million dollars at one point to... Uh... Okay, so we'll stop there for now. Now we're going to go upstairs. Also, something I've learned... Uh, thanks to a little something we like to call TikTok. If we go in here. Oh, wait, we need to go. We need to go up one more floor. But he's going to stop us before we can. Before I can show it to you. So let's do this first. So you've successfully calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may, be, there may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from Warren's tribe. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. That's a word. So, anyway, now we're back outside, about to eat some mochi, piping hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Now, this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi friends, sharing their latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Ah, well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Kramer. It's for an item that should help scatter those gloomy thoughts. Scatterangs! Come now, don't worry about yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Nom, 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 nom. The next day... Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what? I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Yeah, I tried that once. Didn't work very well. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Kramer. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor to your establishment, Edith. Um, uh, mi mi Mr. Kamado, sir. Uh, oh, so about that whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arisu. And you, Kramer, you will come with me. Okay. To Prelude Beach! There's people. These people have just arrived here in Hizui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. Bosley. His name is Bosley. We've heard that the Hizui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. 
But we've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Juvelite Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is likely thanks to Kramer here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Though, through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hizui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Kramer, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? No, I, I want to kick their asses at... Yes, I do. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Commander, Arita from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Kramer, you can see... For yourself, how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. By the way, for the record, my team now consists of a level 26 Gengar, a level 30 Golem, a level 26 Alpha Babarl, a level 28 Dartrix, a level 28 Luxio, and a level 28 Shiny Staravia. Yes, I will constantly emphasize the fact that it is shiny. I am going to tweak it. I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. I will more than likely change the team up a little bit once we get to the next area. Um, more than likely, I will tweak it a little bit once we get to the next area. But we will see what happens. What we that that we will we will see what go or you know. Anyway, upstairs. My team is my my team for this game is always going to be in flux because of the fact that I want to use as many Pokemon as possible. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlins. Your next orders are to be in the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. Hello. We've also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm, I'm sorry, Kramer. Think nothing of it. Kramer is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy Team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Kramer quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Now. Oh. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands. Much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. I know your mission... Oh, you know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Okay, so before we do that, I want to show you something nifty. I didn't know about this until it was shown to me. So we go up here. We enter the commander's office. We go right. We go out this door. 
And this leads us outside. Now see, that in itself is cool. But, more importantly than that, is there's an unknown on that Magikarp statue. <laughs> unknown W, it looks like. There's also no way down, so we just go through the door. <laughs> So let's get downstairs. Looks like we've got multiple side quests that we can do in this room alone when we get to the side questing part of the mission. But for now, let us go out. Or not. Ah! If it isn't Kramer. Oh, Leon. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? The Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Polina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleavor for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hizui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not be and not underestimate how, how important stones can be. To help grind this fact to, into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. I got grit pebbles, grit gravel. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. All right, so we are going to the Cobalt Coastlands. We are going to the beachside camp. <laughs> and that is pretty, not even gonna lie. The Cobalt Coastlands. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hizui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon wait us here, I wonder? Water types? Or flying types? I simply can't wait to study them all! Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to reach the research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've got a mission, you've a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? About Fire Spit Island. Indeed, Firespit Island is an offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you speak to a fellow called Iskani. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Alright, so we gotta head to the Cobalt Coastlands and speak with Arita. So, there's, there's Arita! Pretty music. She has some crazy platform shoes, too. Just notice that. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. My phone went off. A Glaceon. I am going to need to swap. 
Wait, she has two! That's not fair! Oh, never mind. I, I could I could want the Glaceon. Oh, I didn't want the Glaceon. Don't knock out, don't knock out! Damn it. Alright, so we're gonna swap to I guess Babarl since he's got rollout. Roll out and boom. I wonder if I can I've never tested this before. I'm kinda curious if I can actually like Nope, not even an option. We're gonna use roll out again. This should be enough to knock out. Nope, never mind. It's not enough to knock out Eevee. I keep forgetting HP in this game is a lot higher than it is in mainline games. I don't know why they did it like that, but they did. But I did beat the Eevee, and I beat the Glaceon. And my Babarl and Gengar leveled. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. All right, with you, I th think with you I can be frank. You're in love with me, aren't you? I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see... We have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a success for her to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, th that is to say Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it would it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down the hill, turn left, you should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Head to Veilstone Cape to speak with Polina of the Pearl Clan. All right. New area, new Pokemon, that is a Purloin. Or not a Purloin, a Glamiao. Gl 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 that is a Glamiao that is running. Which is, for lack of a better term, just plain rude. Okay, did I get it? Yes! I love this game. I think I got that one too. Yes, I did! And I got a ball of mud. I got a ball of mud. I got a ball of mud. I don't know where I'm going with that. All right, so let's go up here. There's a there's plump beans right there. There's a tan there's a tangela right, and a scroopy. Ooh. There's a there's a tangela and a scroopy here. And an alpha drapian. Oh, he's mad. That was an Alpha Drapian. That is that is cool. Okay, so we're gonna use Hex. Okay. That was almost a knockout. It was a great ball to catch it.
And we caught the Scroopy. Now you see, if I was feeling really baller, I would try to catch the Drapion. But I think I'm way too low of level. But be And before I even try to risk it, I do have my, my Staravia learned a new move. It learned Double Edge. It's an okay move, but... Uh, it, it damages me too, and... Yeah. So we're not going to use it. We're not going to learn it quite yet. That's going to be a maybe for later. But yeah, that Drapion. I don't think I could catch that if I wanted to. But we're going to. We're going to try. We're going to switch to Great Balls. Actually, we're going to switch to Feather Balls because those things will fly further. Did you catch? Did you catch? Did you? Nope! <laughs> Running! <laughs> Mothim! That is a Mothim! That is a Pokemon out to kick my ass! Ah, hell, the Mothim saw me. Mothim is the evolved... Oh, there's two... Oh my lord! I'm gonna catch one, and I'm gonna whoop everything else. But, oh my lord. How did I end up in a five-on-one fight? Yes, I wanna throw... I really need to turn off that option. Oh, there's a pile of grass right there, too. I don't know how the hell I ended up in this situation. Okay, that's not very effective. We're going to... Hex the Skaroopy. I might need to swap Pokemon. I am definitely going to need to swap Pokemon. Well, now I have no option. <laughs> We're going to swap to the barrel because it knows rollout and it's super effective. Yeah, you can use Swords Dance. It's not going to help you. Holy crow! I made a mistake. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, normally Stealth Rock is just an entry hazard, but in this game it's not for some reason. Rock slide. Okay, that was a one hit KO. So we got two more Pokemon to deal with. And neither of them are shiny, so. Rock slide you. And it misses. Of course it does. Right, try this again. Rock slide. Right. Now we're down to the Mothin. He uses Gust. My Pokemon is still alive. That was quadruple damage, I do believe, because I believe Mothin is a uh, bug flying. But the important thing is, is that I need to go back to camp. So we're going to pause here and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're about where we should be. Um, oh, there's a Shaking Tree here. So, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but Shaking Trees have Pokemon. More often than not, Burmy, but that is a Wormadam. 
Anastaravia came up here to join it. So let us deal with the Staravia first. Poison gas. And then we can Venishock it for more damage. Staravia uses Aerial Ace. That hurt a little bit. One of them is Iron Head. Wow. <laughs> Swap to Luxio. I might have to use those rare candies that I got. All the damage that it just took, it's healed. Or all the damage that it just healed, it's taking back again because of poison. And Thunderfang again. Okay, that takes care of Staravia. So now we have the Wormadam to deal with. Okay, quick attack will be not very effective. Let's use a light, let's use an agile bite. Which, okay. This should do it for the heavy ball to catch the Wormadam. I think I have a Burmy and I know I have a Mothim. Okay, that was enough. And it got me a bunch of apricorns. Okay, so... Oh, my Luxio can evolve, too. Perfect. So, before we do that, we're gonna... Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go to the settings. And we are going to... Here it is. Z button confirmation. Whether you want to be prompted to confirm a throw each time you use Z in battle. No. So now, we can evolve our Luxio into Luxray... Just like this. And now we have a Luxray on our team. Which is, in my opinion, a far better Pokemon than Pikachu. And now we need to revive our freaking Gengar again, who is 67. He is 67 freaking XP from leveling up. I just am having shit luck with the, uh... That should be enough to level him up. Yep, by three points. And there's a beauty fly. There's beauty flies up here. We're gonna use a feather ball because there's, real, there's no place for me to hide. I got the Beautifly. There's another thing to harvest from. Okay, move slowly, 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 slowly. Damn it. This has moves to take it out. Icy Wind. Almost. That Silver Wind did some damage, though. And there we go. Beautifly is KO'd. The Barl and Luxray just leveled up. Almost at the top. I'm apparently drawing aggro from somewhere. Oh! From the Mothman that's right there. I don't have any super effective moves, so we are going to go... did decent damage. I am I am actually very happy with that. And we're going to do it again. My 
Pokemon are leveling up like ridiculously fast because I'm doing a lot more fighting than I usually did in my playthrough. I was more about trying to get to the end than anything else. But I might be able to... I, there's a wild Motham over here. I may be able to... There's a Stantler in the distance! catch the Stantler. There's multiple Stantler. Okay, I got Stantler, but we need to deal with this guy. I will be right back, too. Okay, we are back, and we are about to take out this Mothim. It, it's like the thing with Mr. Burns. Reason for parents' death? Got in my way. Anyway. That was morbid. Um. <laughs> oh, Fulpix! Fulpix! Oh my god, you're so cute! I need you! I love you! And a hot And a Murkrow! I'll take a Murkrow. That did a lot of damage. We're going to do use an Agile Aerial Ace because I don't want to accidentally knock the thing out. And it crit. Oh, goodness me. Okay, and then we're going to use a Great Ball on it. Should be enough. Yup. I'm gonna hit rank four by the time I get out of here at this rate. And my golem's level 33. There's a guy up there. More mothims and, uh, oh. Plump beans. More mothims and murkrows. I like feather balls because they go crazy far. And he saw me. We're just going to make a break for it. There's a dust tox over there. Nice hit from the back. First dust tox I've caught. There's another uh, Glameow. That is an Alpha Perugly. Oh shit, I need to run. I need to run. Not playing anymore. We we are in red mode. Red mode is bad. Red mode is very bad. Growl it. Hush now. Settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Ah, oh, you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleavor and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lore here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. 
He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? I'm going to say the small one. Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous Lord. I've no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine Lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left a deep scar in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm, I'm here to help the heir. Ah, did Arita ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Firespit Island. A survey of Firespit Island? I see. There are rumors this place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You need the aid of a Pokemon known as Baskew Legion if you wish across the sea. You should speak to Iskin, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. <sighs> but I digress, I do apologize. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Okay, so we are going to stop here we're gonna go back to camp and heal and then we'll be back in part 11 11 11 of pokemon legends arceus arceus until then take care peace